Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Vincent McQuarrie in Washington. A growing list of consulting and accounting firms are distancing themselves from the daughter of Angola's former president, Isabel dos Santos, and her husband because of their alleged involvement in a corruption case. Accounting firms such as Bryce Waterhouse Coopers and Boston Consulting Group are among the few that have openly expressed their disappointment and have started internal investigations. Salem Solomon has the story. As he faces charges of misusing more than $1 billion in state funds, the husband of Angolan billionaire Isabel dos Santos defended himself by pointing to the couple's accounting firm, PricewaterhouseCoopers, or PwC. We've been working with only AAA uh, partners, is including our auditors, and our auditors in this case are PwC. Hmm. We have the report of PwC. Isabel dos Santos also maintains her innocence, saying she ran businesses that operated on the world stage and has adhered to the highest standards. And when you're the child of a, of a president, you can't hide. The lights are just too bright. You have a lot of attention, a lot of scrutiny. So I took the decision to be transparent. But PwC and other firms are now distancing themselves from the couple, whose assets are frozen inside Angola. After Dos Santos's father, José Eduardo, left power in 2017, his successor announced a crackdown on corruption. Part of his effort was bringing charges against the Dos Santos family. Angola's attorney general believes they looted over a billion dollars. Bob Mortz, the chairman of PwC, said he was shocked by the allegations and announced the company would conduct an internal investigation. But I'm thankful that we're getting out of it now, we're taking the actions and we'll wait for the investigation to continue and then we'll take the necessary actions thereafter. Experts who follow corruption issues in Africa wonder if there will be any accountability for foreign companies which have worked with the Dos Santos family. One tool used against multinational companies caught breaking the law in Africa is the U.S. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, which makes it a crime for any U.S. citizen to pay a bribe or engage in corruption on foreign soil. Another law, the Magnitsky Act, allows the U.S. government to impose sanctions and freeze the assets of those involved in corruption or human rights abuses. Former congressional advisor Thierry Dongola says the Magnitsky law was designed to be easy to implement, but for that reason, it should be used judiciously. And that law was intentionally made that way so that it could be a powerful tool so that we would have very low legal barriers to sanctioning people. So that's why we have to be very careful in the usage where we're allowing now governments to use it against uh, others because now, you know, it's kind of it could become a bullying tool for foreign governments if we don't discern that. At the moment, Isabel dos Santos and her husband are free, but Angolan authorities have indicated that they may issue an international warrant for their arrest. Salem Solomon, VOA News, Washington.